My name is Nebojša Jojić. I'm a Microsoft researcher, and I'll give you a demo of something that we've developed recently. To explain it, I'll start with something that everybody's familiar with, a word cloud. Uh, here's a bunch of words found uh, in, a, in the set of news from one day from CNN. And these words are arranged alphabetically. The weights depend on how often they were used that day. But the eye really tries to find correlations in things that are shown nearby, for example, missing money news. But actually, there was, there was no news about missing money. It's just our imagination creating, creating meaning out of these. If we arrange the same set of words in a spatial arrangement like here, so that related words are found nearby, then the whole map is much more easy to consume. You can find, for example, words like cliff and fiscal next to each other. The way this is arranged is so that in any local neighborhood you look at, the words that you find there tend to correspond to the set of words you would find in a single news story. Now, how do we do that? Well, we used a machine learning algorithm that we have developed and that we call the counting grid. The counting grid is a grid of distributions of words. If you take a window into it, then combining all the words from this one area would create the set of words that you're likely to find in a particular news story. Now, if we try to put a lot of different news stories together into a smaller counting grid, then inevitably we will force these news stories to overlap. So here what we see is a summary of a very large number of news stories. And you will again see that your eye now travels over topics that are related. Here you have an area that talks about crime, whereas here you have an area that talks about protests and so on. And you can zoom into any one of these and find the, the news of interest. And you can also refine it. Here's my favorite example. Uh, we crawled the web and found thousands of recipes from various cuisines all over the world. And you can click on these and immediately get the recipes on the right. You can refine this grid by typing in a search term. Uh, in this case, I'll type in shrimp. And immediately, the grid will refine for you. Now, this is an extremely useful interface for touch devices because you don't type a lot. You click and touch and zoom a lot. So this particular demo would be extremely useful when you're shopping. If I found that uh, my local store has some fresh shrimp, I then might browse through this grid and find the recipe of interest. For example, maybe I'll go for the coconut shrimp recipe. So what I've shown you here is how you can take a large collection of documents and summarize them using machine learning and then browse through it using uh, visualization that really matches the representation that machine learning algorithm have come up with.